Now it's time to slice this layout up to prepare it to be used in Dreamweaver. Uh, if you look over in the layer panels here, you can see I've got a web layer and I'm going to turn that on and that'll show me these little green slices. Now the buttons themselves, uh, because I use that button tool, the buttons themselves already have slices or this little green film. That just tells Fireworks to cut this graphic, this canvas, into pieces that size because if they're really going to be buttons, they need to be individual graphics. Um, I just need to tell it the other places that I need cut. Now before I do that, before I start slicing this up, I want to remove any extra canvas. That's this orange area that I picked over here. So if I just if I click out on the canvas somewhere just so that nothing else is selected, um, then I can go down to the property bar and there is a fit canvas button. So I'll click fit canvas and you can see that it removed all that extra orange space. Now uh, kind of important at this point is that I have the same amount of space on either side here of my layout. That shadow that I put on, it's the same on both sides. Now if it's not the, bo the same on both sides, you may have to sort of troubleshoot and see if there's um, you know, some other things that are, that are sitting inside of there that may be causing that fit canvas not to cut evenly on both sides. Okay, with that, I need to tell Fireworks the other places that I need slices. Now, I need to be careful not to slice on top of these buttons again. They already have slices, so I just need to go um, uh, uh, everywhere else except here. So, over in this web section, you can see there's a button over there with a knife on it. That is the slice tool. So, click on that to pick it up. And I can start well outside the canvas. It won't cut any extra space. So, I'm just going to click outside this upper left hand area and click and drag out this rectangle all the way, whoops, let me try that again. I let go a little early there. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag across all the way down and as I move slowly it'll want to snap right onto the top of those buttons. I'm just going to let go right there and now I, you can see I've got this great big slice across the top. So I'm just telling Fireworks, hey this is where I want this piece um, cut. Then I want to go ahead and come down here near the bottom and slice off the footer. And I'm going to zoom in on that to make sure that I got the whole footer, that none of this corner is involved because the, the, the very most important part here is this part that I haven't sliced yet, this big white area. Um, that area needs to be clean. Um, up and down, all the way up and all the way down on both sides because that is the piece that you'll understand this later, but that is the piece that will be repeating on my pages if my page is longer and the, and the content forces my page to stretch um, uh, higher, then that piece is going to repeat. So if, 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 I, if I sliced and got part of this black line down here, um, down here, or part of the footer, then when that repeated, it would be obvious. I would see a line across every time it repeated. So I'm going to be careful not to uh, to get any of that extra stuff. Okay, one more slice here across the middle, and I'll get as close as I can to it. And I'm, I'll zoom in to make sure. So I just go all the way across, so I can start out in the gray area and drag all the way down and outside in the gray area on the right hand side. And you can see I get this little um, purple and white bar that means oh, you've snapped onto something. So I let go of it there and now I've got that piece as well. So I basically have three large pieces and then a slice for each one of these buttons across here. Now there's a little snippet of stuff over here along the side that doesn't isn't sliced but I'm going to let Fireworks handle that for me. Actually Fireworks would handle uh, some of these other pieces as well but it's only three slices and I want them to know exactly um, what's happening here. Alright so I'm going to save that Alright, and before I export this out, I want to go in and just check the edges here. So that edge is good. Scroll on up. That edge there is good. I just want to make sure I got nice clean slices all the way around. Those edges are good, and that edge is also good. You know, you can see I'm one pixel short there, so I don't have to re-slice. If I just go get my pointer tool, and I come in, and I can grab that little border between these two and pull it up one. Okay, so you can see now my footer has sort of a one pixel high row 
of white pixels, which is just fine because that's not going to repeat. Nobody's going to notice that. Okay, so with that, I think my slices are finished. Now I just need to save those changes and then export this out into uh, into Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go up to the File menu, down to Export, and then I need to make sure this is going into the root folder that I'm using in Dreamweaver. Just need to go find that root folder. Let's see. I think that is it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to import it into here, go into my images folder, and I think I'll make a new folder in here uh, and just call it layout, all one word, please. Um, and then you can see it's going to name this layout.html. It'll go right into that folder. And I just need to make sure I, I set, get the settings here as to what I want. So I want HTML and images. Okay, now in the next tutorial, I know some of you can see there that that says CSS and images. We're going to do that one next. Um, it's, we're, we're not quite set up correctly to get CSS out right yet. But uh, if we do HTML and images, Fireworks will cut up our design, build, a, build an HTML table for us, put everything back together, um, and it gives us a quick way to get uh, a graphical layout started on our website. And then as we learn CSS, we can get more into that. Okay, so the other things here, we're going to get an HTML file, and it's going to export the slices, just meaning everywhere where we place one of those green um, uh, slices, those green rectangles, it'll make a, it'll cut a graphic out there. Um, we want, we want all, all the selected slices. Uh, no, not selected slices only. We want all the slices, and include areas without slices, and that'll be fine. Okay, with just those settings there, I'm going to click Export. Just takes it a minute. It's already done. Um, now, in the next tutorial, we'll pull up Dreamweaver. I thought I had it up, but we'll pull up Dreamweaver and we will uh, prepare what we just exported out and turn that into a template.